What's up, YouTube? Wayne here, back at it again with another review for you. Hit that thumbs up and get ready. So, episode four, Haywire. Dude, I really love this episode. This episode's pretty cool. It's not as much football, but it starts off with uh, basically a football scene, right? So uh, basically, Jordan wins the game for the team. Of course, that's what they're gonna have him do. And you know, Jonathan's a little jealous. So what he does is he blitzes. He gets in the game. He blitzes on, as a cornerback or a safety. He makes a dude fumble. Dude runs it back for a touchdown later in the game. Coach isn't. He's. They're happy they won the game, but the coach is really not happy that they kept making all these mistakes. It was really looked like bad throws by the quarterback. So maybe Jonathan should probably play quarterback. But the whole plot to this is, is there's a meta kid. There's a meta human kid in 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 the ranks. And Jonathan and Jordan, it, it, it kind of focuses in on the uh, storyline of them because it shows them in high school doing things and they have this one kid who he broke his arm doing something stupid at the bonfire and where uh, Jonathan first used, I mean, where Jordan first uses laser vision and then he he can like vibrate things and he's doing this like crazy speed vibration thing which they don't really get him into controlling it but they they say at the end of the episode they move him to a special facility so he can actually control his powers or maybe he's going to hang out with black lightning you know that, that's a dope series i like black lightning um so then we go back to lois and clark and clark and lois and their father are having their typical dispute on what the children should know and what the children should not know. And basically, Lois's father is like, hey, your dad's Superman, you gotta let him be Superman. Don't call him all the time, let him save the world. And it kind of gets them in trouble because they try to stop the dude who vibrates and, he, and Jordan really doesn't have enough power. He's strong enough to hit kids on the football field <laughs> There's a funny part where they're actually practicing football on the yard and Jordan can't even catch the ball. But he's the star player on the team because he hit the team win. And check, check out the irony in that. I mean, come on now. You're talking about they're developing these characters from the ground up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we zoom back to Clark and uh, Lois and Lois is investigating still the guy who owns the Daily Planet and he's having, he's like undercover looking for something. We found out later in the episode that it's kryptonite and him and that superpower lady who had the, the vision, the heat vision, who killed the other dude in the previous episode, they find a bunch of kryptonite. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Uh, I think they hinted in the next episode there's gonna be a lot of Luther-based stuff, like General Luther. Um, I just, I, I like how they're developing and running with this series. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, what are some good things about it? They have some great fight scenes. They have some great Superman flying at the speed of light type stuff. Uh, so, you know, the little thing that they gave Jonathan to to contact Clark if there's anything. So Clark is fighting uh, Kilgrove and he's uh, at in Metropolis fighting him because his dad comes and he does this and Kilgrove's got like this sonic emitter and he's like keeping him down on the ground. It's so crazy. Keeping him down, keeping him getting up. And then he hears that thing goes off and he tunes his hearing into his kids and he does like the hawk. I don't know how loud that was on the camera, but it's okay. And he like basically knocks them all off and he calls, uh, um, um, what's the name? Lois, his fa uh, father, and says, hey, come get Kilgrove, come get his team. They're all beat up and stuff like that. It, I mean, you can really get to see how strong Superman is. And Lana and Lois are developing a relationship and you can tell that they're gonna talk about the relationship that Clark and her had. I mean, eventually that's gonna become an issue. We'll see what happens, but I really think that 
this the subplot of the dude who's who owns the Daily Planet, and I really love the fact that we really haven't seen a lot of Luthor since the last couple episodes. That we're gonna get a lot of him next episode. Actually, in the clip, I think he's like launching a rocket launcher at the at Superman, which I don't know. It has to have kryptonite to hurt him. I mean, he wouldn't just launch a regular rocket launcher at him. So, I think we should all tune in. This was just, I'm gonna shorten this review up to this, this week because it was just a, a basic good episode. There was not a whole lot of spoilers to spoil. It was just, you know, I guess you would call it a filler episode. But really good. Love the fact that Jordan is doing well with the football team. He's confident. I love the fact that he's not strong enough to beat a supervillain or a kid who has supervillain type powers. I love the fact that, I don't, I don't know. I, I like, the guy who plays Superman and Clark Kent, but you know, Clark is somewhat of a doof in the comics and somewhat of a doof in the original uh, um, Superman movies, but he's very confident in this. And I like that. I like how his shoulders are put back and everything like that. And, but Lana actually mentions that, but it's, I'm just rambling. I mean, I'm really just rambling because it's, it's like I said, it's a filler episode, but hey, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, and we'll talk about it next week when we have a more entertaining episode, but really good episode. Bye.